How's it going everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to overclock the new Intel i7 10700K processor using the ASRock Z490M Pro 4 motherboard. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe down below and thank you for watching. Well, first thing is first, this is pretty much day one release. Uh, just picked this up on the yesterday at May on May 20th 2020 and as I'm sure you could if you look around and search the BIOS for this motherboard this is the only BIOS available P1.20 so that's what's gonna be for for a time being until a new BIOS comes out so this is what we have to deal with um, but other than that uh, overclocking seems to be pretty easy on this uh, although I cannot pass uh, so far 5.1 gigahertz but that's no big deal so let me just show you it's very easy and quick uh, as always I recommend um, having a good uh, power supply uh, this is the it has a two-phase power connection a uh, four pin and eight pin uh, have definitely have a power power supply uh, strong enough and with the two CPU connections for the motherboard uh, definitely recommended uh, I really don't know how it would work with it just having one of them connected so that's how I'm running it and also uh, have your CPU fan whatever your choice is a uh, tower or a water cooled uh, definitely I would recommend putting it on full speed like you see it here and then always do your RAM uh, first and you know in my case it's 3200 megahertz uh, ram sticks here i hit the xmp profile one i always do that first after i do that i save changes and i restart and come back here again uh, that way you know your ram is running at the speed it should be and then uh, the last thing it's very simple it's pretty much the same way with any other older intel um, motherboards it's very simple so you go to the advanced mode and go to OC Tweaker and CPU configuration. Change the CPU ratio to all core. And right here on the all core, just type in 51. And then one other thing you have to change, just scroll down here and disable Intel Speed Step technology. And that's pretty much it. So we're not changing any volts, nothing. So you're gonna get 5.1 uh, gigahertz out the door on all cores without doing anything else. Just these two little simple steps. Uh, further down the line, if there's a better, uh, newer BIOS and other ways to do it. I mean, this motherboard is technically the cheapest out there. So. Uh, I don't know further down the line there'll be other options um, you know ability to overclock higher than 5.1 but at this point uh, with this setup that I showed you here you will get 5.1 uh, gigahertz on all cores so yeah that's pretty much it uh, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys later bye bye